guys, let's post up. I want to see the groups literally just flying off. If you if you've sent one already, send another one again. Let people look. You got to emphasize. Let people know they're missing out. All right. So we get we're, we're having some people coming in, and let's just let them in. All right. So firstly, I want to get started. Um, for those that are new on the call, firstly, I want to welcome you to Next Arise. If you don't know who I am, my name is John Olid, TC5000 with Next Arise. And um, I've had an incredible journey right from the very start to where we are in our company. Um, a lot has happened. Um, I'm humble and I'm grateful to be where I am today, but it wasn't done by myself. Uh, we've been able to obviously do this through a teamwork um, in terms of the position. We've been able to promote many people in our company as well. And today's objective is to really now teach every single person how they can also level up their own positions, how they can level up their own pockets, how you can level up your own bank account, your own check, whatever you want to call it, right? And my topic today is I'm going to be going through what we call customer acquisition. Now, here's the first thing I'm going to say, look, don't attend trainings by being too familiar, number one. Don't attend a training feeling that you know it all, all right? If you are not producing in terms of you doing 15 customers a month, then guess what? Back to school, right? So I want you to be a student today, all right? I want you to pay attention. If you are sitting right now on this call and you don't even have a pen and paper, that is already, you're, you, you, you're not even ready for this call. Essentially, you're just not even ready for this call right now, all right? So I don't care if you're a leader. I don't care if you just started. I don't care whatever position you're in. Right now, I can tell you right now, if you are not doing 15 customers minimum a month, if you're not doing 30 customers minimum a month, I want you to take a pen. I want you to take a paper, all right? Forget all the note, uh, the, the tablets and stuff because you might have to draw out some diagrams, all right? So you need a pen, you need a paper. We're going back to school, all right? So we're going to get fired away. And this session today is very, very, very interactive, all right? Uh, give me a second. Let me share my screen. So today's session, it will be very quite interactive. And one thing you, you are going to realize with my training is I'm not going to move on till I feel like you guys are participating and you guys actually have clarity on what it is that I'm going to be speaking about today. The reason why I say that is because I don't want you to just sit and listen, right? I don't want the words that I'm going to share with you full on deaf ears. I want you guys to internalize it. I want you guys to be able to utilize this information. And in fact, I want you guys to now get results from the information that you are going to be getting today. Now, firstly, what is customer acquisition? I know that we've never, we never really kind of define what it is, right? So, you know, for me, one thing I've really got into the habit of doing is really researching words and customer acquisition. I went on google.com and I literally just typed it in and it said customer acquisition management is a set of techniques used to manage customer prospects and inquiries generated by marketing. All right. So I'm going to read out one more time. All right. Is the management is set is a set of techniques used to manage customers. Right. That means you need to get customers. All right prospects and inquiries generated by marketing right so the other keyword you can hear from that is also marketing now i think that's the that's the number one part a lot of people miss and misunderstand when it comes to actually being a part of this industry that you have to market yourself you have to market your services right okay so um let's get started so firstly look i want you guys to just participate with me right and i want to see in the group chat let me actually get my, give me a second, because I'm actually using two screens. So I want to make sure that I can see the chat as well as I'm speaking to you guys. Um, just open that up. Cool. Perfect. Put that up here. All right. If you guys are feeling on fire right now, just drop some fires in the group. All right. There we go. 70 people coming on. That's really good, guys. Let's get to 100. All right. Let's get started. Give me a second. Oopsie, oopsie. Okay, cool. Perfect. All right. So let's get fired away. So look, first things first, right? Okay. Um, I want to ask you guys, who wants to make a lot of money? I want you guys to just participate with me, communicate. Who wants to make a lot of money? If your camera's on, put your hands up. If your camera's off, you know, drop that on the, on the chat. In fact, everyone should drop down the chat. If your camera's not even on while we're having this training, I always tell people I find it a bit disrespectful because, you know, people take their time out to make sure that you can take some valuable information, right? They've done a lot of studies so that you can internalize this information, right? So it's only right. I know when you go to university, right, you're not sitting with a balaclava on your face in the back of the room, right? <laughs> all right. The person that's teaching you can see you when you go to an interview, same thing, all right? So I want to make sure that you guys can come on camera and participate. We are a family, right? Okay, so first things first, who wants to make a lot of money? Drop in the group, right? I can see the dollar signs, right? 
I want to say British pounds as well. All right. Okay. Okay. So look, for you to get a lot of money with this company, right? I want you guys to understand, right? It's all based on the amount of customers that you are acquiring. All right. It's, there's no good saying I want to just make a lot of money without understanding the elements of how to make the money. All right. Between where you are and where your money is, what you now need to do today is to focus on the process of getting that money. Okay. Does that make sense? All right. You want to focus on the process of getting that money. I hear a lot of people saying, I want to make more money. I want to make more money. You know, I heard something yesterday and I heard that <laughs> I was listening to a, uh, you know, a, a live webinar and the person I was talking said, you know what? You don't want to make a lot of money. He said, you don't want to make more money. He said, making money is illegal. In fact, he said, what you want to do is go get your money, right? So today's topic is all about you getting your money. And that's all based on how good you are and how skillful you are at acquiring customers. Now, here's what I want you guys to do while you're participating with me. I want you guys to scale yourself between a, a zero to 10, okay, of how good your customer acquisition is. Because the reason I'm asking this question, because the first thing you need to do is identify how skillful you are at getting customers. You need to identify where you are on the scale, because if you don't identify, how do you know what you need to improve? So you want to identify where am I on the scale? Remember, I said, take a pen and paper. If you're trying to do this on a tablet, good luck, right? You want to identify where am I sitting on this scale? Now, could that be around a zero that I'm just not good enough? Could it be that I'm between maybe a one to three? Maybe I'm just using all the scripts and I'm getting myself confused without knowing what direction or knowing how to ask a customer, okay, for a service. I might be between maybe a four to six. I'm okay, but I'm just waffling my way through. Now we have some wafflers, right? I'm just going to keep it real. We have people that waffle their way through, just hopefully, all right? They waffle just hopefully. You can't do that, right? Or you may be a six to eight, maybe that you're acquiring maybe less than three customers a month. Or are you what we call solid, right? Where you're acquiring 15 to 20 customers on a monthly basis, okay? So I want you guys to understand the way you're going to understand acquiring customers is by utilizing the tools that has been provided. And I'm going to be sharing some stories about myself, how I have been able to acquire customers. We're also going to be hearing some testimonials of people that are customer champions of what they've been doing to acquire some very, very, very good customers out in the marketplace. All right. So um, I remember Jordan Williams, ETL 1000. He did a training you know, I believe probably about two months ago, he did it again, I think sometime last month. And one thing he kept emphasizing on when we were on that training, you know, again, it's all about being a student. I came on that training and I was listening. And this individual, right, he kept emphasizing, use your tools, use your tools. And I was like, why is it that we don't use our tools? How powerful could you be utilizing the tools, tools that we actually have? And I'm going to give you a breakdown of what type of tools that we actually have building customer acquisition. But firstly, I want to also help you identify why most people fail at acquiring customers. Why? Number one, and remember, I gave you the skill. So what we want to do is to be able to identify where are you on that skill and how could you improve? If you're a two, how can I get to a 10? If you're a five, how can I get to a 10? Even if you're a 9.9, .9, guess what? You're not good enough because it's about being a 10 out of 10, right? Most people are skeptical about the products and services. So some of you guys are skeptical about what you provide. How are you meant to make money on something that you are skeptical about? Whether that be your pride, whether that be your ego, whether that you act like you know it all and you are vomiting information into your customers when you're meant to keep it super simple, right? Could it be that you are not investing in your own services and that puts you in a predicament that you can't even sell what you don't use? I've been there before where I can't speak about something. I can't speak up. Look, I want you guys to understand there's levels to this game, right? There's levels in terms of when you are waffling. Remember I said five to six or five to seven is waffling, right? Because you've heard us say this in a training. You've heard somebody say it. So guess what? You're waffling through because you don't even have the service. So you're just trying to collect data that you can vomit into your customer. But if you're invested in yourself, you can tell a customer everything there is about that service. In fact, you can even give them an additional um, bonus by showing them how that particular service actually works. I'm telling you right now, if you are on this call and you are not utilizing any of the services that we provide as you being a business owner for your own business, right? You are not going to be able to become a customer champion. 
And that's just big facts. If you are trying to sell me insurance right now and you don't have insurance, guess what's going to happen? Your conviction level or in terms of your communication, it's not going to be effective, right? The way it should be because you don't know all the information there is, okay? Not following up. Again, this is another key thing. A lot of people don't follow up with customers just because they say, hey, listen, get back to me or listen, it's not the right time. Most people think, okay, that's the end of the line. No, you got to have a follow-up list. Most people don't do this. One of the biggest things I learned in my early days in business, my mentors used to say to me all the time, John, the fortune is in the follow-up. I couldn't tell you how many times I've heard this. So many times, the fortune is in the follow-up. There are probably hundreds of, some of you even have thousands. I remember we did a training last time where we asked everyone, what's your network? What's your net, what's your, what, who, how many people do you have in your network? What's your social media uh, amounts? Everybody had numbers, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000. And everybody on this call felt proud to say what they had. But the reality is that most people didn't even get through at least even 5% of their contacts. So the reality, there are people that you have mentioned or there's people that you have actually messaged that you haven't gone back to ever since. You guys need to get into the follow-up game. Your money is buried in the follow-ups. Um, some, some of you guys get distracted. That's why some people actually feel in getting customers. Why? Because sometimes when you are meant to get customers, and I've seen this before, and I'm telling you, it's reality. Some people are meant to get customers, they get tired, or they go play PlayStation, or they go, go out with friends, being distracted by other things. But you going out is spending money. You getting a customer is paying you. Think about the logic, right? So don't get distracted in the moment of time when it comes to getting customers. Are you someone that's negative about all the services? Just because if there is a little issue does not mean, right? It does not mean the service doesn't work or it cannot be, you know, whatever the issue is cannot be fixed. I know there are people today that are negative. You need to get rid of that negativity, right? You can't expect to get, uh, get or get a lot of customers or make a lot of money with a negative mindset. You can't go in trying to acquire a customer, right? With a negative attitude. You got to be positive. You got to be upbeat, right? Some people get disappointed. And lastly, no accountability, right? Some of you guys do this by yourself and you get burnt out. You know, something I heard yesterday, which was on a live webinar that I was watching. And the guy said, you know, he said, there's no such thing as burnout. He said, a lot of you just don't have goals. And that's serious. Some of you don't have customer goals. You want to make this money. Like I asked you guys, who wants to make money? I can see all the, all the pound signs. Look, I can start calling out names, right? I want to make this. I, and if I ask you guys, right, how much do you want to make? You probably put a figure. I want to do a million. I want to do 50 grand. I want to do 10K a month. I want to, like, you'd be very proud saying it. But can I tell you something? Without the action, they're all empty words, okay? So you need to hold yourself accountable or you need either your mentor or somebody in your team to hold you accountable, right? So let's move on to the next slide. So using your tools, all right? So I've listed a few tools that you can use. I want you guys to also participate. If you feel like there are some stuff that's, that's not on this slide that can be used as a tool, I want us to share this information. Guess what? How this is going to work is if we can utilize the tools together, right? So number one, the videos that we provide, which is on YouTube, right? I found them so effective. They're absolutely amazing because they pretty much explain everything about the services, okay? in a two minutes, three minutes uh, uh, and duration, right? We have Instagram, our Nexorize um, Instagram page. The, the, again, you have all the videos on there. Further, you can download these videos and keep it in your gallery. So whenever you feel like, hey, listen, I need to post this out to somebody, guess what you can do? You can have quick access to that as well. The other tools that we also have is the Tuesdays and Thursday calls, all right? Which is our 12 p.m., the trading calls that we have with, um, you know, some of, um, our lecturers, that could be either Natasha, that could be either Jordan Williams, that can be either Willis. I believe that if you've ever been on that call, right, you guys literally, uh, if you guys just, you know, if you've ever been on a, on, on a 12 p.m. call, can you guys just give me, you know, uh, just put a 111 in the group. Let me know who you are. If you've ever been on a 12 p.m. trading call, okay, all right, and I'm going to be using trading as an example, right, but everything I'm going to mention is going to apply for everything in terms of the services that we provide. OK, so if you've ever been on that call, you realize that they do a fantastic job. Now, I want you to understand they're not your educators. They take their own time, right, to make sure that you are educated based on what they've been taking a lot of time to study. All right. But the crazy thing is that we all have the same blueprint. 
most people just take more time studying it. All right, so we have the One to One Arise Academy, um, you know, Arise Academy platform that has all the library stuff on it. You know, Vantage FX, MetaTrader, the Trading View. This again, they're all tools that you can use in acquiring customers. So here's how I want to set out. Um, you know, before I go into giving you guys, um, you know, set examples of what you need to do to acquire particular customers. I want to share my success story in terms of the last few days, how I have been able to acquire some customers, okay, um, by just utilizing the tools, all right? And again, this works for any service, but I'm giving you based on, on, on the service that I found more effective for me in the, you know, in the last um, one week. Now, let's talk about this. Take, take a look at it. So here's an example, right? Um, here's somebody that I'm speaking to, um, you know, just introducing myself. And I asked him a question. Do you know anything about Forex trading? Um, he said, I just know the meaning. I don't really, um, really the trading parts. He doesn't understand the, the trading parts, right? Um, he's never tried it before. Um, that's cause I've never, um, I've never seen good guidance. Ding, 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 right? For me, that already shows interest. He's interested. In, he's just never had the guidance, right? Okay. Okay, bro. Take a look at this video. All right. Watch this video and message me back. So he sends me a message. Um, and he says, um, he ends up booking himself for a meeting and say, yes, um, I asked him, can you do tomorrow for us to jump on a Zoom call or this evening? Um, this evening? I said, sure, we can do 9 p.m. UK time. So we arranged the time. And as you can see, after we arranged the time and I did a Zoom call and the Zoom call aspect is what I'm going to show you guys how I've been able to do this and get some customers. All right. Then after I did that, um, very quite fortunate that we had the trading call, um, you know, the following day and I was able to now plug him again. What am I doing? Utilizing the tools, just working smart. Right. So I plugged him in and guess what? He ended up liking the call. What did I do? I ended up um, getting him to process the order. You can see my business ID. I told him select next pro. I don't even sit down with them to even process this order. I'll be honest with you. Just because of how effective the explanation has been, right? I had somebody thanking me saying, John, this is incredible information. So if you know you can deliver good information, I promise you, you can just send them, hey, listen, register yourself, right? We're going to arrange your next call. And the next call is that I'm going to teach you how to make some money. Got him to download the Vantage FX from my referral. I'm going to download MetaTrader, so on and so forth. Here's an example, another example, all right? Another lady, you guys can see from the first slide, um, she came on the trading call that Willis was doing. Willis, great job, man. Um, you know, smashing job that you do, bro. Um, so I started playing the music, the DJ that I am. You guys love my DMX today, right? Um, so, you know, she said, this tune's so dope. I said, ha, ah, my kind of tune, you know, just laughing with her. She goes, yo, this is some juicy and you know, I like numbers. This is so juicy and I, you know, I like numbers. So she liked everything that Willis was obviously speaking about. I said, do you, are you understanding it? She said, yes, right? She goes, okay, where do I sign up, please? After, the, after that Zoom meeting, um, something, something, something may seem scary until somebody, somebody, someone sheds some light on it. So I definitely needed that intro. Boom, right? But yeah, please um, sign up link. Send her the sign up link. Send her my ID. Same process, right? She, she messaged me right at the end. She says, done. I told her, all right, cool. These are the apps to download. And um, before I even got to finish it, you guys can see it. I said, Vantage FX, I got it. Also, Message Trader, got it. She sends me a screenshot and then she sends me another screenshot just to say I've processed it. Okay. Now, again, let me just let you guys know, right? Let me burst, let me just burst your bubble for a second. It's not going to work for every single person, right? I want you guys to manage your expectations. So don't you go saying, oh, but John said, oh, but this, that, and you guys get so frustrated that, you know, maybe it didn't work for the first five people. Guess what? No problem. You keep going through the numbers. Remember, it's a numbers game, right? Okay. And I'm going to teach you, right, how you actually close customers. I'm going to teach you. But if somebody say it doesn't work, that's totally fine. As you can see, look, if you guys can see my comments, right? I don't know if you guys can see my comments um, with the praying hands and the hand signs. Can you see the comment he messaged me? I'm witnessing your journey, bro. He was actually congratulating me because he's been watching me on social media. But even so, he's watching my progress. He still doesn't want to be a part of what I do. That's fine. Hey, listen, I told him, hey, check out this video, my bro, and get back to me. Let me know your thoughts, right? I said, I know Forex, not really my thing, no problem, right? And we're going to we're gonna have a conversation um, during my session. One moment. We're going to have a conversation during my session, all right, based on Still how to... On it. Give me a second, guys. Can you guys hear something? Is that me? I think I pressed something from my laptop. Working on that. Oops, is that Siri? One second, guys. <laughs> all right, cool. Give me a second. My laptop is talking to me. It's a bit scary. Technology, right? I said, one moment. I don't need a moment. Team you. 
What was that? I think Siri wants to SWAT team you. It, it wants to SWAT team me, right? It wants to get involved in the training. All right, cool. I hope that's off now. All right, cool. Um, all right, let's 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 carry on. Okay. So as you guys can see, it is not going to work for every single person. Just want to let you guys know, manage your expectations. All right. Don't get emotional about it. All right. If it doesn't work, that's fine. Right. Just keep them the loop. Remember I said in the beginning, why does it fail? Most people don't follow up. It might not be the right timing. You, you keep showing the progress, right? And let them keep seeing it. They, they are going to be attracted eventually. Now, let me just give another example, right? Of um, another customer. Here's another guy that I met, sent him a message on Instagram. Um, I sent him a voice note. He said, I said, um, listen, would you love to introduce yourself? And where are you based and such and such, right? He said, my name's Brian Breiser. I'm from Kenya at the moment. I'm not able to, because I asked him, I said, so I asked him a couple of questions. Number one, who are you? Where are you based? And I asked him, can you invest in yourself, right? If you're going to reach out to me, guess what? I want to get straight to business. Don't want to waste time. So I said to him, is 149 pounds to get, obviously, um, invest in yourself. Here's his response. Not able to, in Memp Memp Mempsa, um, 140 pounds, that is almost 21 uh, thousand, right? That's a lot as a youth like me who is still hustling. Then just let the conversation. I said, listen, I don't even want to waste my time. He now messaged me back, right? As you guys can see the date one day later, he says, sir, what's the way forward? Send him a voice note. I said, you got to invest in yourself. You got to get that money, right? If you want to make more money, guess what? You got to learn how to put money down. Okay. He said, um, and I said to him, if I send you a video, would you check it out? He said, sure. You may send, send the video. Thank you. So I sent the video to him. And then he replied and replies back to me, cool, the video is inspiring. I can tell you, every single person I send the video to always tells me the same thing. This is quite interesting. This is quite inspiring. This is actually a brilliant video. Then what did I do? Take advantage of my tool. My next tool is plugging him into the next trading session. Who was doing it? Jordan Williams, right? I said, plug in now. Sorry, I was a bit late for the meeting. Please, what should I do next after he saw a bit of the meeting? And then boom, essentially, essentially, we booked a meeting, jumped on a call, and we closed out. Now, what's quite interesting about this individual was he actually, was, he just loved everything about it. He just said, hey, listen, this is an opportunity for my community. And he first thing he asked me, can I introduce people? I said, 100%. You don't have to ask me twice. He said, my auntie lives in Holland. All right. My auntie, I said, even much better. I said, your auntie, your uncle, your grand, bring everyone to the table. Let's make your whole family rich through Forex. So he says, I'm going to introduce you to my auntie who's in Holland. And we arranged another meeting on the Monday. All right. So this is another individual who was actually happy. And I'm just giving you guys examples so you guys understand how simple it is. It's not complicated. I'm not saying too much. Just utilizing my tools and being straight to the point. Hello, bro. Uh, this is somebody that reached out to me on Instagram. Um, trust you are well. Just checking on you. How's everything on your side? I said, hey, good. I hope you're well. Thanks for reaching out. I don't have this number saved. Who am I speaking with? Oh, Chris B. All right. Is here. And I messaged back. I, said, I don't even know who this person is. So she sends a screenshot from Instagram. Um, I think she, we, we probably have spoken quite, as you can see, 19th of January. So we spoke about probably four months ago. And I met this lady on Clubhouse, connected with her on Instagram. And I didn't even try to recruit. I just tried to build my relationship with her and I left her there, right? So next, what did she do? She said, hey, listen, I want to find out more. What did I do? Utilize my tool. Who's my tool? <laughs> the educators. Thank you, Willis, for this one as well. You do a great job, buddy. All right. So I send that to her and she simply jumped on the call. And then we did a one-to-one -one call and so on and so forth. You guys get the gist, right? Okay. Very, very simple. Utilize the tools and that's where we're going. So I want to talk about how you actually acquire customers. I'm going to use trading as an example. Um, I think trading is such a great service, but remember what I said, this can apply for any of the other services. I'll give another example um, away from just trading. All right. So here's some steps in terms of how I have even been, been able to acquire some trading customers. Step one, I send a video. All right with a short message asking them, hey, listen, how are you? Hope you're well. Check out my video. Let me know what your thoughts are. Not let me know what you think. The words you choose are important. Not let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. Okay. Step two. All right. So what do I do? Schedule a Zoom call or a meet with them, right? Step three, I break the ice. You know, when I meet up with them or I speak to them on a Zoom. Step four, question them about the video. All right. Also about where they are financially and uh, why are they considering to make him more money? Now, you guys might ask me a question and say, but why are you even asking him, th asking him that question? They've already said they want to make money. No, I'm asking them that question because I want to know where they are financially. I want to know how, they, how serious and committed they are 
because I'm going to spend my time with them, right? Step five, break down the Forex to them. Give them five reasons, which are benefits, statistics, facts, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to give you guys some as well, okay? About the industry of Forex. Step six is what I do. Show them all the resources, all the platforms. Step seven, and I ask them the closing question, all right? We're, going to, we're also going to emphasize on this a little bit more in the training. So step seven is the, is the number one thing you want to close with, with it, which is, have you seen enough to make a decision? All right, that's the closing question. Have you seen enough to make a decision for yourself? All right, they might ask you, what do you mean decision? In, in, in a decision to make more money, in a decision to, you know, to increase your, your, your income, to increase your assets, whatever it is. Remember, I asked them about their financial situation. So I have something I can speak on because you have to ask questions so you know what you're relating back to. And the bonus um, things that you want to do at the bottom is promote the trading call. That will help you. And, um, you know, spend at least 30 to one um, hour, all right, every one to three days with them on a Zoom call. The great thing you can do with all your customers, bring them together and just have some fun making money online. If they send out a trade signal, what should you do? Just find 30 minutes during your morning hour, during your afternoon session, maybe you're on lunch, maybe you're at work. Find 30 minutes, gather your customers around. You guys make money together, right? Make them feel like they're a part of an environment. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to jump into a live session, right? Okay. But before we jump into a live session, I want you guys to participate with me. All right. I want you guys to give me each person. I want you guys to give me free. All right. Three reasons why someone should become a trading customer. I want you guys to shoot that in the, in the comment section, in, in, in the chat section. Give me three reasons. Why should somebody become a trading customer? That could be a fact. That could be around maybe a benefit around the benefits of trading. That could be statistics, whatever you want to call it, right? Okay, I want you guys to give me free facts. So I'm just going to read it out. So we have some some can forward it from Next Rise IG page. Okay, no, something else. Um, extra income, Adrian, wonderful, absolutely. Customers can make more money, make more money on your smartphone. All right, learn a new skill, 100%. All right, high income skills. Make more income, financial independ independence. All right, learn a new skill, making more money. Guys, give me some facts. All right, give me some additional benefits. Some of you guys are repeating what somebody already said. All right, I want you guys to think outside the box. And the reason I'm asking you guys is because this is so important because how you're having conversations with your customer, right, determines how you are going to close that, 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 close that conversation. So make that bread for a better future. Whoever SD is, yeah. <laughs> well done, 100%. All right, increase BV. Um, understand how markets work, revenue, nine trillion, 100% trade in any country, trillion dollar industry. All right, cool. These are all great guys. All right. But if I'm also your customer, what facts do you want me to hear from your mouth? All right. What, what do you want me to hear that might trigger me to become a, a, a customer? It's great that it does nine trillion, but what else? All right. Lifetime skill, 100%. All right. Easy six to seven minutes videos. Set you up for the future. You will be recognized by the board once you complete the course. All right, support is a trillion. All right, all right, all right, cool. Extra source of income. It is simple. All right, you guys are giving me some, giving me the same answers. I need something new. So I want you guys to, I want you guys to pay attention to what everyone's posting, right? I don't want you guys repeating the same thing. I want you guys to give me some reasons, some statistics, some benefits, some additional ones to what people have already said, okay? And I'm also going to give you guys some few benefits that you can add as well. All right. No one's actually said anything about the Arise Academy that we have. Right. What does our platform do? <laughs> no one's even said anything about that. Right. Daily signals. There we go. We're getting something new. Right. Cool. That's perfect. Daily signals, building your own ec economy uh, so that you don't have to depend on a nine to five, 100%. That's a really good reason. If, I, if you said that to me, that might tickle my ears 100%, all right? Um, daily signals as well. Learn at your own pace, 100%, okay? Constant support. Guys, 100%. So you have a support system, right? We have a learning platform. We have a library. We have resources. The value you're paying for it, the signals, the webinars, we have experts that teach you, right? Speak about the experts. The reason I'm asking this question, I need you guys to subconsciously, subconsciously tap in to the reasons that you can actually put forward. The reason why a lot of people don't really get good customers 
or get enough customers because you don't have enough to say. You don't give the right information. You don't give a lot of info. You don't give enough information for people to make a decision. All right. So everything that you all say is fantastic. Guess what? You guys just did your own homework. Now I want you guys to screenshot <laughs> the chat because that's major reasons that you guys, you guys can now use. All right. So you guys want to copy and paste what people have said. You have a Telegram 100%. Right, we have a Telegram family where you get support from other people, weekly webinars. You guys should screenshot all those reasons because you're going to add that to acquiring customers. All right, we, ha we have um, um, it's a five trillion, um, it's a seven, um, nine trillion um, business. Uh, what else do we have? All right, what else do we have? All right, is that it, guys? All right, wonderful. All right, so I want to give you guys a life example of how now I ac acquire customers. Okay. Um, give me a second. Just make sure I can get this out. Boom, boom, boom. All right, cool. Perfect. Let me go ahead on myself. All right, cool. So I want to give, give you guys a life example. So here's what I do now with a customer, right? Okay. So let me see who would like to participate with me. I want to just pick somebody out and don't go turning off your camera when I'm asking you to. <laughs> I see some people just went blank. Jordano, I saw you over there. Don't try it. All right. Okay, cool. So can we have somebody who wants to participate? Just be brave, all right? It's, it's, a, it's a good learning pro, um, process for you as well. All right, who wants to participate with me? Who wants to be my customer? Um, Maria, is that you? I saw your hands up. All right, awesome. Okay, I'm just going to unmute you for a second. All right. Just unmute yourself for a second. You should have access. Perfect. All right, cool. So let's join you on my spotlight. If you guys just want to give some fire to Miriam, let's welcome her to her to the call. All right. So Miriam, what I want to do, you're my trading, my you're my trading customer, right? And I want to now show you, okay, I, I want to show the audience how I now obviously get customers, right? So firstly, here's what I now do. Hey Maria, um, thank you so much for joining um the call. My name is John Olid. Again, I'm I've already broken the ice before. Now I'm just sort of re reintroducing myself. So look, my name is John Olid. Um, I'm really glad that you actually reached out to me. But Maria, before we actually get started on what it is that we want to speak about today, tell me a little bit about yourself. What's your background? What do you do? You know, and why did you even consider, uh, you know, um, taking a look at what it is I wanted to show you? Well, hi, John. The pleasure is all mine to connect. Uh, my name is Maria. As we spoke earlier. Um, I'm a qualified nurse, although I don't practice for quite a long time. I, uh, I have three children. I'm a single parent. And I've been doing, you know, different sorts of jobs. All right. All right. Awesome. And, and Maria, if you don't mind me asking, how are you coping? How are you doing financially? Uh, struggling a bit at the moment, you know, because of the COVID, I've got hours reduced from work and, you know, I have to pay the bills, you know, pay things for, the, for my little one at school. Yeah, I've been struggling a bit. I understand. I understand. And and look, have you considered maybe even taking a step forward to make him more money? Is there anything? Are you doing anything else right now to even compensate, you know, for the fact that you're not making enough money at work? Are you doing anything on the side? Yeah, I've been trying to do extra, extra hours at work. Okay. But in the end, it doesn't compensate because, you know, tax takes me a lot. So, Absolutely. yeah, really Maria, it's not working. You're 100%. In fact, the more you work, the more you get taxed. And I understand, right? Yeah. So listen, rather than you giving more hours to your job, would you like to learn a new skill, how you can make some additional money online? Oh, definitely. All right. Awesome. So from that video that I sent to you earlier, what did you take back from that video? What stood out for you the most? What did you, what, what did you understand from that video? Yes. Yeah, so the first thing that caught my attention is, you know, no time freedom to be able to work from home at my own pace and at the same time have more time with my family, which is the thing I'm not having much these days. Yeah. And those also, it's um, extra cash, extra, extra money. Absolutely, absolutely. Digital income. Absolutely, Maria, listen, I can definitely relate with you because I've been there and I know a lot of people that have been there. But in fact, today, I'm very glad that people are really lo looking outside the box in terms of making more money. Now, look, Maria, very, very simple. What I do is that I teach people and I educate people on how to make money online. Forex is actually one of our main platform. That video that you watched has given you a lot of information, but I want to now just break it down in the next maybe 10 to 15 minutes, just giving you uh, an explanation of why Forex is important. 
and why Forex today, all right, is really changing the world, all right? So Muriel, look, very simple. What Forex is all about is about making money, all right, in the, in the, in the financial market, right? Where you can learn how to make money with currency pairs, all right? So just imagine if you've ever traveled before, the first thing you consider doing is exchanging income, right? Whether that be pounds into euros, pounds into dollars. But one thing you realize is that when you're exchanging currency, you're exchanging it for a particular rate, okay? So sometimes that's why you get more euros than you get than for the pounds that you actually exchange with. Now I wanna show you, we learned that skill online, right? And that's a skill set that you cannot be fired from. That's a skill set that you don't need to do extra time. You can do it whenever you want. So I wanna show you what this is all about. Well, Muriel, first of all, when you get involved in our platform, um, here's what you actually get. So you get something called Arise Academy, all right? An Arise Academy platform, which just which looks exactly like this. Give me a second. Let me just move this. Can you guys see my screen? Sorry, I got two screens. So can you guys see my screen? Perfect. All right. Yeah. Cool. So Muriel, here's one that happens, right? You get a trading platform, okay? And our trading platform just simply teaches you how to make money, right? Muriel, have you ever been to university before? Yes, when I did my nursing degree, yes. Absolutely, right? And you spend thousands of pounds just to make sure you can get your qualification. Here's what you now want to do, Muriel. You want to invest in yourself as well. Why? Because our educational course now does not, all right, it's not a three-year course, but it's something that you can learn within your own time. This is £149 for you to actually participate on our platform and learn about the course. Well, Muriel, let me just tell you a little bit more, right? So I'm going to show you my account, all right? And now, guys, for anyone that doesn't have a Rise Academy, this is where you're going to flop, right? Because you can't show what you don't have. Um, oops. And nobody send me an email, please. All right. <laughs> All right, cool. Perfect. So, Muriel, here we go. All right. So, here's what you actually get, Muriel. You get a platform. It's called Arise Academy, right? And on Arise Academy, we have different amounts of courses that you can learn. I think the best thing that you, you see here is the support system that you can have actually, uh, you, you can actually learn according to um, what you understand about Forex. So, the first one is, uh, you know, the basics that we have. It goes all the way to advanced. And let me just show you a little bit inside of this, right? You have every single class that teaches you about the Forex exchange market, okay? It's from Forex to spreads to stop loss to forex, foreign exchange and candles. Now, this might not make sense to you, but this is why you're given the course. And in that course, you can actually learn through our course content, okay? And remember what I said, Muriel, this is something you can do with your own time. So it doesn't snatch away hours. In fact, you can just do this whenever you are relaxing or you have time, okay, on your hands. Now, once you've completed a course, in fact, Maria, congratulations, you will get a certificate right at the end just to say that you have been certified and you've learned throughout this course. But in addition, you also get to do a quiz. All right. So if you want to just test um, yourself in, you know, how well you now understand Forex, that's something that's also included. In addition to that, Maria, what's also fantastic is that we also have a Telegram group, right, where you get to add yourself into. OK, we have a Telegram group you get to add yourself into. And we have what we call daily, daily signals that get sent out to you, okay, that you can copy and paste to make some money. And we're going to talk about that in a, in a short while. But here, what we also have is the library section with additional videos and resources. Now, I just want to let you guys know, um, let you, Maria, know, people today pay thousands of pounds. Thousands. When I say thousands, I'm talking thousands of pounds. All right. For the amount of content that you actually have for one full night is incredible just so that you can change your financial financial situation. And in fact, there are some courses and some webinars that you have missed. But don't worry, once you get yourself started, you can actually go back on those videos as well. All right. So, Mary, that's pretty much the trading platform. Now, what do you actually get in addition to this? Well, you can also register through our partnership, which is Vantage FX. And all this just simply means is our broker. OK, it's the middleman. Right. This is simply where you can deposit money. This is where you can withdraw money. Remember, you said you want to make money, right? Yes. All right. So I'm going to show you how to download this afterwards once we finish this, right? So Vantage FX, you can deposit so you can make trades and you can also redraw through this platform as well. All right. And then lastly, Maria, we also have something called MetaTrader 4, all right, which is just now simply the platform where you now have a chance to place the trades. And I'm going to show you what that looks like in a second. So Maria, let me just share my screen for you so you know what I'm talking about. All right, so take a look at this. All right, so here's what. Give me a second. Um, Rise Academy. Okay, so here's what here's what our trading Arise Academy trade ideas looks like. Our platform, 
And every single um, day between Monday to Friday, you get sent signals. As you can see on the screen, you have what we call currency pairs that you can trade with. So remember when I spoke about traveling, right? You traveling yeah. to another country, you're exchanging currency. This is basically what we do, right? But we get to do this from the comfort of our own home through our smart devices. So I can trade British pounds for New Zealand dollars, right? Okay. And I can sell or buy currency. Now, uh, Maria, I know a lot of people have seen what we call the charts. And you've probably been confused by just looking at all the colors and the ups and downs. Look, it's a really good thing, by the way, Maria. All that just simply means is money, is cash. You just need to now learn, okay, about where the market, the direction of the market goes. Either you're buying or either you're selling, okay? Does that make sense, Maria, so far? Yeah, it makes sense. Absolutely. All right. So let me show you how this actually works. So I have my MetaTrader, and this is simply my trading platform. Now, through my trading platform, I can now go and take on board the ideas that they've sent to me, okay? And I can follow the instructions step by step. So on my MetaTrader, it says um, GBP versus NZD. So what I want to do is simply find that, okay? You can see it is probably the fifth one to the bottom last. And I click on that and I can click on what we call, um, sorry, I can click on what we call trade, okay? Now it brings up this platform and Maria, this is how simple my job is, right? I can now just go back and see, hey, by the way, it's a sell, okay? So what I'll be doing is select and sell. And I can also see that it gives me a price entry points, okay? What that just simply means is at what amounts I'm getting into the market for. Then I'm also going to enter what we call stop loss and take profit. Now, let me just explain what that is for a second. TP means take profit. Just understand it this way. You're just collecting cash, right? That's the most simply way, simply, um, way to understand it. And we have SL. Stop loss just simply means it's like your safety nets. It stops you from losing any, uh, you know, uh, you know, losing, um, you know, losing a lot of money, right? So what you do now is simply copy and paste as according to what they've given you. So my stop loss simply tells me that I need to enter 1.9540. What do I do? I just enter that right over there. And it says for my take profit, which is TP1, right? So I have different, I have four take profits of cash that I can collect in, but I'm going to just stick to one. My TP1 says 1.9480, right? And I'll just simply enter that there. And then what do I do, Maria? I click on sell, all right? It's going to give you two options, buy or sell. So what do I do? I click on sell. Simple. Maria, now I can now sit back and now under, and I can now watch the market play its part. Now, Maria, if you want to take it a step further, all right, the great thing that you're also going to learn through our academy is how to read the charts, okay? And this is something that you and myself will do together. I'm going to give you life examples on a regular basis, all right? So we'll spend some time together and we'll make some money together. But I want to show you what the charts looks like. So Here's what a chart, a simple chart would look like. Remember what I said to you, it doesn't matter what the color is. It doesn't matter what the direction is. You are going to make some money if you know how to uh, analyze what direction the market is going. So if you see a red, it means you're selling. If you see a green, it means you're making silly amounts of money, right? Okay, so here's what it looks like, uh, Maria. Okay, so just from what I was explaining to you, right? This is similar to what I said my entry point looks like, which is the middle, what I get into the market for, for all right? And then I've also have my um, take profits because I'm selling, I will have my take profit at the bottom and I will have my stop loss. Now, Maria, all I'm just simply doing is just watching the market go up like this, right? And I need my market to really just come down to the line of where it says take profit. If it hits that line, I cash out, I can walk out. Now, Maria, the great thing about trading is that you don't have to sit down doing this all day long. In fact, you just need to do this maybe 30 minutes to one hour a day right? You don't want to do more than that, right? Because you just want to make sure that you've made your money and you can walk away. You don't want to do too much so that it doesn't go into gambling, right? So keep it super simple and you just simply enter what they've given you and you can actually cash out from there, okay? Simple as that. So Mira, so far so good. Does that make sense to you? It does make sense. All right. So what would you say you've taken back so far from what you've heard? Well, uh, I would like to give it a try and I'm happy to to register on the Rice Academy. But before I go ahead, I would like, I, I have a question. For sure. What's your question? Our lessons is from my own pace. And let's say uh, in the middle, I find some difficulty or something I don't understand. Will I get any support or is there any way I can call someone at any time to find out or to, for more explanation in regards to what I'm not understanding? 
Absolutely. And then that, look, Maria, that's the bonus in this business. The great thing is that you are not left alone to do this. In fact, I'm personally going to mentor you, right? I'm going to be, we're going to be doing this today um, together on a, on a day-to-day basis. But most importantly, what's also great is that we have weekly educators, right? So if I'm not present, we have people that will actually teach you. Now, Maria, you have a pen and paper. Here's, a, here's what you want to write down. On Mondays at 8 p.m., right? We have, okay, we have a webinar. On yeah. Tuesdays at 12 p.m. and 8 yeah. p.m., we have another webinar. Okay. And then on Thursdays at 12 p.m. and 8 p.m., we also have a webinar. So, Miri, I can understand maybe you're working, right? So you can also make the 8 p.m. If you're not working, make the 12 p.m. call as well so that you can also, um, you know, you can, you can speed up the process in terms of you understanding how Forex works. Okay. Yeah. So, Miri, that's pretty much what I want to show you. That's a general overview just to get you started. Okay. So here's what we want to do, Maria. Um, give me a second, guys. Let me just reshare my screen so that we can go back to this. All right, cool, perfect. So where are we, where are we? Okay, so Maria, now guys, here's my closing question. Maria, have you seen enough to make a decision for yourself? Yes, I have. Amazing, listen, I wanna just welcome you. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna help you get set up, all right? So Maria, I'm gonna send you some links right now. Number one, I wanna show you how to actually and register yourself so that you can also have your Arise Academy so you can start learning straight away. I'm also going to send you on the Vantage FX, how to sign up for it. Okay, I'm going to refer you. And then thirdly, I'm going to show you how to download MetaTrader, okay? Now I'm just going to shoot you a message on WhatsApp. If you just start with the first link, register yourself and enter the ID number that I give to you. Boom. All right, so that's simply the steps that I've been able to. Maria, thank you very much. All right, bravo. Thank okay. you. So Thank that's you. simply that's simply the steps that you want to take. You want to ask them that closing question. Have you seen enough to make a decision for yourself and add? Remember, when you ask them a question in the beginning, why do you even want to do this? Or what's your financial situation right now? So you always want to relate it back to what they said. Because remember, people don't come on just for the sake of it. They came on because they had a reason to. They came on with an issue. What you're now doing is asking them, is this enough for you to make a decision? All right. To tackle that issue that you actually I mentioned earlier. So guys, I hope that makes sense. Uh, let me get my chat back up because I want to, <laughs> I want to be in sync with you guys. All right. Give me a second. Okay. Perfect. All right, cool. So that's simply the steps that you want to take. And I hope that makes a lot of sense to you guys. Now, again, some of you might say, but what if it's a different customer? Let me give you an example with insurance, right? Okay. And I want to round up quickly. Um, but let's say this happens to be insurance. Again, number one, show the video. Number two, get on a call, a Zoom call. Number three, break the ice. Number four, question them about the video, all right? Okay, what did you get from the video? Why right? you're asking those questions so that they can actually speak more than you actually speak, all right? Step five, give them five reasons, which are benefits, facts, and statistics, okay, as to why they should really look into insurance. Step six, are you comfortable knowing that your family, um, you have a family, but you have no cover? Who else is involved in your life other than yourself and your kids? right? Is there any reason that you would change your mind in terms of not getting um, life insurance, right? Ask them just qualifying questions, right? How much do you believe this is important, right? If you asked, Stephen, if I asked you, how much do you believe this is important to you to get insurance? What would you say, bro brother? Super important to have insurance. Absolutely. Let me ask you why. I know I'm putting you on the spot, buddy, but let me just ask you why. Why, why, why is it important to you? Do you know what? To me, the reason why it's actually important, I went to the head office and I heard from the founders and I was just completely blown away by a, by a story that was actually shared, which was actually Mr. Liju um, Thomas, one of the founders of the company. He was mentioning that, you know, he actually had gone through a process of having COVID, um, actually being at, um, at the hospital. And he said that, you know, you, you never think that young people are going to have COVID and, you know, are going to pass away or anything like that. But he said that the ward was filled with um, individuals that, you know, actually had COVID. And he was speaking to an individual that was right next to him for pretty much the whole day. And in the nighttime, this individual was younger than him and actually passed away. And for him, it was just so important to have insurance because, you know, we never, ever know what's going to happen tomorrow. And what he said was, you know, I, I live in a very expensive home, et cetera. And if I was to pass away, you know, 
what ensures my family's financial safety? You know, would they lose that house if I'm no longer able to financially provide? And these were all things that really just, you know, um, really impacted me. I just want to make sure that if anything ever happens to me, that all my loved ones, you know, um, are just going to be living a comfortable life. We know that right now, the average person, the average burial is about seven thousand pounds. Most people can't even afford to die right now. And that's just the reality of things. So putting our families in a more difficult financial position, when I kind of heard that, that really impacted me because um, I believe that we should really be there for our family and support them. And, you know, passing away, um, we should be, you know, supporting our families and also, you know, leaving something behind and helping them out financially. So, yeah, that's just why I personally got insurance. Um, but, yeah, I'm just really excited about it, actually. Absolutely. And here's what you guys can do as well, right? Um, you guys can take that same story. I had a friend. That's why I normally do, right? You use other people's story. That's a tool as well. Now, Stephen, I want to ask you a question. Have you seen enough to make a decision for you to get a free quote? A hundred percent. All right. I'm going to send my ID and my website to you later, bro. All right. <laughs> All right. Perfect. So now guys, look, I want to quickly just participate with you guys again. Now the guy that said to me, it doesn't work. How can I now handle this person, um, person's objection from what you've heard so far? What do you think I can now say back to them? I want you guys to participate. And I'm, the reason I'm asking this question, because I want, I want you guys to think, here's what happens. You guys turn on trainings and you come off trainings and it's just the same roller coaster. I want you guys to really, because remember what I said about customer acquisition, right? Customer acquisition, you guys need to be able to acquire a lot of customers. It's not just one a month, two, two every five months. I want you guys to understand it's about getting units of customers. What if a good month for you was 500 customers? That should be normal. We can normalize that. 500 customers a month should be normal, maybe between you and your organization, right? Okay, show weekly, monthly Telegram results. Absolutely, I actually did that to one of my customers. Really good one, um, Adrian. Who else? And the reason I'm asking you guys, because your, your answers will help other people. And I want you guys to not just answer and miss everyone else's comment. You might want to take notes from that. So Adrian said, show them weekly, um, monthly results. Yeah, that might change that scenario because they now understand actually there is money in it. Um, find out their why, okay? That's another one, okay? Show them how to get a promotion in work through next education. No problem, my bro. What is it, what is it that you're into? Because I've got a lot more services, okay? That could also work. Show them results, show them the results. Because I, I, cause I'm talking about trading, I might just want to stick by showing them, stick, stick to that by showing them results there and then. Um, use a testimonial. Really good. That's a really, really good one. Use other people's story. Use other people's testimonial. In fact, here's what you might want to do. Book a Zoom meeting. Get one of the people that are already having success. I know, uh, you know, Kevin Garvis, he's made silly amount of money. <laughs> and we've heard this story. He was negative about trading. Then all of a sudden, guess what? He was making a lot of money. I can use him as a success story. Hey, Kevin, listen, bro. I have a trading customer. Would you like to just do a testimony for me for about five minutes? Again, you can do that, right? Okay, so quickly just diving through my other um, segment of the training. Acquiring customers is all about asking the right qualifying questions, all right? When was the last time you invested in yourself? That's a trading um, question. I want you guys to take a screenshot, all right? And also write this down. If you were to get hit, um, ill today or you lost your job, do you have a backup financial plan? That could be for trading or insurance. When was the last time you learned something new? Next education. When was the last time you invested in something like this to level up your mindset? or your skill set, or to add more qualifications to your CV? When was the last time you had a good deal on your energy? Would there be any reason why you wouldn't want a good deal? This is what we call qualifying question, because what you're doing is backing them up in a corner, and you're now making them answer you directly without them waffling to you. When was the last time you traveled? How soon do you want to travel? When was the last time that you were given a good deal on your flights and hotel? When was the last time you, you visited a, a hotel lounge? All right. So that's some other question. Here's another, some additional qualifying question. I call them hard questions. When, um, what's the worst thing that would happen to you if you invested in yourself? That's a really good qualifying question, right? What is the worst thing that will happen to you, Laura? What is the worst thing that will happen to you, Adrian, if you invested in yourself or in your future, in your kids, in your family, in your business, your education? right? Sometimes I go, to, go a step further, right? I like to make comparisons. If I know I'm providing something that's even cheaper than what they're using, I do a yearly summary versus what I'm doing versus what they do. Let them see the difference. By the way, in a year, you're saving this amount. You have to help people understand. So here's also a heads up, all right, for you guys. You can't close any deal without confidence. I want you guys to understand, closing deals 
closing customers, you getting customers, you engaging with customers, they see through you, right? If you don't look confident about what you're providing, they can tell. That usually goes back. Um, all right, somebody said go back, please. All right, uh, one, two, three, three seconds, bro. All right, so heads up, you can't close any deal without, um, without confidence, right? Because people can see right through you. When you don't have confidence, all right, that tells me that you're not even confident about what you're providing. That doesn't put confidence in me as the buyer. You have to understand that. Everyone gets the same objection you do. All right. And I want you guys to manage your expectation because you're going to hit at least 15 object objections um, that are the same 90% of the time. That's normal. Right. So if, if, if somebody doesn't agree with you, that's normal. Remember what I said in the beginning, the follow up game, the fortunes in the follow up. Make sure you go back. All right. You don't get the close because you are nervous about it. All right. You can't be nervous about what you're providing. You got to show confidence. Right. You got to be sold out to the services. And the reason why you might not be sold out. Right. Right now, I'm about to, to step on some people's foot. The reason why you might not be sold out is because you don't have the service. The reason why you're not confident, you're nervous because you don't have the service. So you don't know how to portray that. You don't know how to put that forward to a customer, right? So the more you know the process, the more confidence you will actually, and the more you actually be, right? It's just like money, right? If you're confident about money, you attract money. No confidence, no close, no money, all right? Here's an additional assignment that you guys can also add as well. Um, we do something called the Blitz and every leader all right, your ETL 500s and above will be doing this, all right? Something called the Blitz. If you're not participating in this, I wanna recommend it. It's absolutely powerful, right? Because I know sometimes on this course you come on, you might not be able to ask questions, all right? Or you might have a question, but you might end up forgetting it. And that question can be a qualifying question that helps you become a pro or customer champion. So the Blitz sessions are small ses sessions that have been designed for you to participate in, right? So you can be surrounded by um, like-minded thinking people, all right, that can help you think in the right way of acquiring customers, all right? This is those sessions where we do what we call phone work. Phone work simply means that we write our list out and we go back to back. We get to hear people's life examples. If I'm hearing um, Stevens talk on the phone to a customer or prospect, I'm, I'm going to be like, whoa, that's a really good line. I'm going to mute myself, go back to calling and try that line. So you're going to see the people that get, our blitz sessions are so powerful. Somebody, somebody chats on the group. Hey, listen, guys, I just had five customers. Hey, listen, guys, I just had two customers. And you guys are just about to hear, you're about to hear from some customer champions in the next five minutes, right? Okay, so this will help you also with your new members to become more skillful as well, all right? And this is an absolutely what we call um, confidence booster as well, all right? So um, here's the final thing that I just want to mention, all right? Okay, no, that, that's pretty much what it is, all right? So um, that's it. Um, that's pretty much the, 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 the last um, part of my segments. All right. This is just a quote that you guys can add to your social media. You guys should even stick this on your wall. All right. No more. I would do it tomorrow because some of you do say that. All right. You procrastinate. Eliminate that. Eliminate. It's a bad, 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 bad habit. I can tell you how many times I've missed out on opportunities through procrastinating. I had. Look, if you are a procrastinator, you, you are going to learn the hard way. And I promise you that right? So eliminate, right? The whole idea of I will do it tomorrow or I'm, ha I've, you know, I've had conversations with people or I'm having dinner. I'm like, yo, are you serious? There's literally money waiting for you, right? There's a customer saying, hey, listen, I want to be closed, right? And you, you are procrastinating. No more, I can't because, all right? No more, I'm too tired. Forget all of that stuff, right? Okay. You say you want to be rich. You want to make a lot of money. You guys post it on a group, get to work. No more, it's too hard right? There's no such one as it's too hard. You are going through a process. It's called a process, right? What you're doing consistently is refining your skill sets. I want you to understand that, all right? So don't feel like I've done this to free customers. You know what? It doesn't work. That's not true. It is not hard. You are refining your skill set, okay? No more I would if I. No more I'm not good enough, all right? Remember I spoke about being in confidence, now, ladies and gents, let's tap into this. Look, I want to bring on some customer champions, some people that have really been doing absolutely phenomenal. I'm talking about, um, you know, they've really raised the bar. And when we speak about getting customers, um, they've really just kind of understood that, hey, listen, if I don't get customers, I don't have a business. I want you guys to compare this to like a shop. If you open a shop, your goal is not for one person to walk in. I, I want you to just imagine if you own the shop today and you were getting one customer walking through the door, is that a business? That's not a business. That is not a business. You might as well just buy some candy bars and stand on the street. Save yourself expenses, right? If I open a shop today, 
My number one objective is, guess what? I want a hundred plus people walking through that door, right? I want people just coming to the counter, buying over and over. That's the mentality that you have to have, okay? That's the mentality that you have to have when it comes to acquiring customers. So it can't be, oh, I feel good because I have one customer today. No, that is not a business, right? That is not a business. A business is, I am able to do 10 customers a day, all right? I'm able to do, let's say, you know, 25 customers a day. I think we have some customer champions that have been able to do 30 customers in less than two weeks or so, all right? So I'm going to call upon three people that have been doing absolutely phenomenal. They've been able to hit um, the 300 plus PBV, um, PBV club, okay? This means that they're already earning a percentage on their, um, you know, their services. So let's Let's crack on with this. I want to just call upon the first speaker, um, Sarah. Um, if somebody just helps me spotlight Sarah, um, you know, I just want to welcome her. Um, yeah. So if 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 we just spotlight Sarah to the to the um, platform, I hope you're on. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. So I'm gonna let Sarah. Sarah's a 300 um, PBV. Okay. She has 300 PBV, and I'm gonna just call upon her to just share her story. Now, Sarah, look quickly if you can keep it within maybe two to three minutes or so. Okay, number one, just share your story, right? In terms of how you have found trading, okay? Number two, I just want to just maybe speak about what techniques have you used to acquire okay. your customers as well, all right? So thank all you, right. Sarah. Oh, thank you for training. I've learned so much, I'm so excited. Hi guys, I'm Sarah. Um, I'm an executive team trainer for those who don't know me. Um, in terms of my customer acquisition, uh, I am a trader. I was a trader outside of Next Arise. So before Arise Academy, that was something um, that when I first saw the business that I knew that I would be really good at um, being able to teach people to trade. Um, however, I was a beginner myself. So I thought, you know what, in order for me to one, use this service, even though I know how to trade, I'm still learning. So I'm still going to be um, increasing my skills by learning more. Um, um, and if I'm going to sell this service, I need to know it in and out. I need to use it. I need to watch the videos. I need to go into the webinars. I need to see the telegrams. I need to know that these signals work. I need to have belief in the service before I can sell it. All right. Just like John said, people can, you know, when you're faking it. Yeah. People can see through you. So you need to understand and believe what you're selling. Um, and they, and they believe you because they trust you. Okay, now if you're being fake, guess what? That that element of fakeness will be delivered. So I always say to people, be real with people because people can feel and sense your energy. So I was never trying to tell a customer and show someone a trading our trading service with the Rise Academy by being fake. I wanted to be real, and because I stayed consistent, um, and you know before. Um, I didn't really know how I was going to do my Zoom calls and stuff. Consistently being through the training and stuff, I keep learning, I keep learning. And then I started, you know, understanding how to actually acquire customers, which really helped. And every time you get a customer, you just get more belief. And then with the trading aspect, not only do I um, get them as a customer, but I schedule actual Zoom calls after. And I make sure that um, they understand step by step. So um, one of my customers uh, last week, um, I got them as a customer and this weekend I went over, okay, what have you learned? Okay, cool. I'm going to teach you some things. Um, he hasn't gone into the webinars yet, but he's gone into one webinar with Willis on Thursday, but I'm always accountable to teach him because I can trade. Okay. So you can always give more um, with other, other services. I'm really excited for like, you know, travel to come through and stuff when um, all this vaccine stuff is out. I'm excited for that. Like today I went to meet a new friend and we were talking and she was complaining about the fact that um, the, the accommodation that she was gonna book her mum for was gonna be um, over 2000 pounds for four nights. And I was like, send me the details. I'm gonna show you what I do. Okay, when it comes to travel service. So when it comes to customers, you've got to believe in the service. If you're not a product of the product, you can't sell. And I'm just grateful to see 3% residual income. I'm just excited for that to increase. Um, and yeah, that's me. Thank you so much, Sarah. I appreciate you. As you guys can actually tell from that story, there's key, there's key things that you can take from that, right? Number one, she spoke about believing in the service. 
If you don't believe in it, there's no conviction, right? Okay. And the second thing she also mentioned is she had to use the service, right? And I think that's a big um, customer retainer. What do I mean by this? If you don't use the service, you can't teach somebody. And so even if you were lucky, right, to walk through the door by getting a customer, okay, you will probably lose that customer by 30 yeah. days later. Big facts. Yeah. All right? So you might sit on this one and be like, yeah, but I got some customers. I feel good. Prepare yourself. 30 days from now, you could potentially lose them. Why? Because you can't retain them. You yeah. can't teach them what next to do, right? So very, very important. Sarah, massive well done for your success. Thank I really you. can't wait for you to get your 2000 PBV plus as well, right? Yes. All right, next person I want to call upon, as you can see, the man, um, Adrian Gomez, okay? So I want to call upon him. And Adrian, again, same thing as well, brother. If you just want to, uh, you know, share a little bit about yourself, but most importantly, just mention how you have been able to hit that 300 plus. And most specifically, what is your technique? Definitely, bro. Thank you so much for having me. Um, so basically, it pretty much was, a, I learned pretty much by failing. Now, I really much use my tools the same way I've used putting out today. So using social media, social media, WhatsApp is my biggest, biggest tool. But I was pretty much making a mistake, well, which I later on learned was a mistake, was I was just simply posting, let's say, trading, a, like a picture of trading on my story feeds or my, on my, you know, my stories, my Instagram posts, or let's say the, the SIM cards or let's say the holidays. And I can see that 400, 500, almost a thousand people was looking at it. But I'm thinking, why am I not getting a one single reply? Not one. And what I then started thinking was, I actually realized we all have Instagram, right? Or we all have Facebook. Okay. We sometimes have like just advertisement pop up on our stories on our feed. So I started thinking, what if my friends, what if my contacts are thinking this is just the Instagram ad? So now I thought, you know what? I need to find a different way. How can I directly go towards the customer? Well, then I realized Instagram has direct messages. I directly post those pictures or I send the video to the customer. I say, look, I've got these same cards. Who are you with? How much are you paying? I always end it off like an open-ended question where it would kind of request a, a reply back from a person if they're nice. <laughs> Hopefully they don't just ignore you, but it will prompt a reply from them. And then, it, you know, you can start a conversation for them. Now, my way of kind of acquiring customers is usually a SIM card. Why? Because everyone has a mobile phone. Everyone needs a mobile phone. And people are starting to realize how expensive mobile phone plans are nowadays. So I kind of always get in through that way just to start off a conversation. It's usually 50-50. Some people say to me, yes, I'm interested, but I'm in a contract, so cool. I say to them, where's your contract finished? I'll make a no, you know, alarm on my, on my phone. So that way, once I'm preaching, and once I'm reaching that day, I get my alarm and then I'll go back to them. So I'll follow up, just like you said as well. Or if they say to me, you know what, I like my plan. I want to stay with them, been with them such a long time. I get like, you know, family and friends discount as EE does and whatnot. Great. Can't change their mind. But listen, you like to travel, right? How many how many holidays do you take a year? Look at this service. I've got this. Do you know anyone that wants to do training? Well, look at the success I've been having. Look how simple it is. And I just create literally conversation for that. It's that, it's that easy. It's that simple. But guys, I was once in a situation where you probably find yourselves in the, in the place where you're just not getting enough replies or people just ignoring your messages. You just need, basically need to tweak how you're approaching customers. I've actually found way more success by literally asking them direct, open-ended questions. And now, you know, if I was going to message, you know, for yourself, I say, "Hey, John." I don't say, "Hey, bro." Hey, good morning, good afternoon. I try to make, you know, add your name to what I'm saying, so you feel I'm directly speaking to you. It's not just a spam. It's not just a broadcast. It's not just a copy and paste, which it is. I'm not lying to you. But if I put your name in there, and when you read it, you're going to say, "Oh, Adrian's actually writing to me." Adrian's actually speaking to me. And now my technique is, because, you know, as of Monday, I'm going back to work and I'm not going to have as much free time as I did whilst I was on furlough. My technique is I wake up in the morning, on my way to work, you know, I spend 30 minutes and I literally, you know, send as many messages as I can across Facebook and Instagram. I get to work and by the time it's my lunch break around 11, mid, 11 in the morning or midday, I'll have probably about 30 to 35 replies. And I just spend the rest of my day literally going back to those people, creating a conversation, lead you know creating leads for future customers acquisitions or probably there and then and also upselling upselling is literally very very important where in next rise where our catalog of services is massive and it's only to, going to get bigger there's certain people i know in next rise that say to me you know what i don't like trading or not a lot of people like life insurance you're a salesman or you're a saleswoman you can't just say to myself i'm only going to do sim card because that's what people like or i'm only going to do you know holidays because that's what people like you are supposed to know everything you're selling that's why if you invested into next rise 
be you know well informed well rounded so you can acquire any single customer and there is nothing that they can say to you that you won't be able to know how to answer so it's very important to become a customer of the customer and you that way you can easily with confident confidence sell any service or product that we're going to offer as well with that bro thank you so much for your time Thank you so much, Adrian. I, I, listen, you pretty much just did another whole training. <laughs> I love <laughs> it, man. Um, look, key things again. Look, guys, you know, as you're hearing this testimony, it's very important that you're taking out key things from it as well. Don't just listen to it as a story. And for me, from just what Adrian said, look, number one, he spoke about Instagram. And we've seen it. Some people just take pictures, post it up. Look, that's not going to tell me become a customer, right? You can't just stick a picture up and just you know, flood your, listen, you got to have real conversations, live conversations. So it makes it more personal for people. I think something he said as well, for people that are quite busy, set yourself a schedule, right? The same way, look, you're not confused about what time you're going to work. You know, you already even knew two weeks ago. Do you know what you're doing two weeks from now in terms of, you know, getting customers, you got to set yourself schedule. And the last thing he also mentioned, which is you can't pick and choose what you like. Don't do that. Don't damage your business. Why? It's not about what you like. It's about what you're providing. If I open up a shop, this I'm using the same shop example. If I don't like candy bars, does that mean I don't sell it? My shop will be filled with candy bars. The person who likes candy bars will walk through the door and eat them, not me. Does that make sense, right? So just because you might not be familiar or you might not be that great with a particular service does not mean you despise it. Listen, let's call on the last person and then we're going to pass on this call to the next speaker, okay? So uh, the next person I want to call upon Newly promoted, um, ETT 100. Um, she literally just got promoted, I believe, yesterday or day before yesterday or so. Um, so massive well done for your accomplishments. Um, so Jordana, same thing as well. You know, what have you done? A little bit about yourself. What have you done to acquire customers? What has actually helped you to get customers? All right, go for it. Hi, everyone. Um, like, you know, my name's Jordana. I have three children. Um, and... I would say in acquiring customers, um, at the start, I would say that I didn't really um, take the business so seriously. It was only last month that I would say that I took the business seriously and I managed to acquire customers within three days to acquire ETT, ETT 100. And um, what I've done is i done broadcasts, sent them out, but made it seem personal to them and ask whether they would be able to put it up on their stories as well. And you'll come across people that you'll find that are actually interested in the service that you didn't think that would be. Um, another thing as well would be to join um, in regards to trading, because I've got quite a few trading customers. If you um, join the training sessions, even if you don't actually have the service itself, it makes it easier for you to be able to talk to customers when they have other questions that they'd like to ask you. Um, that's two of the things that I did do that I think that really helps with the customers. Um, so yeah, broadcasts, um, send personal messages. Also, the list, make a list as well and go directly through the list and don't miss any person on the list because I think a lot of people, um, will assume that they're not interested in it and the people that are actually that you would think that are not interested in it are the people that are so that would be it as well and just because um just because one person has just because you acquired one person as a customer for one service you can still go back again and then acquire them for another service as well because that's what I've managed to do with yeah two of my two other customers that I have Amazing. Thank you so much, Jordana. And look, you're doing absolutely fantastic. I know you just got promoted to ETT 100, so hats off. By the way, when she said last month, um, I want you guys to understand, this was somebody who, you know, had a conversation with myself and I said, look, I'm going to be very real with you. <laughs> look, if you're not going to acquire customers, just don't do the business, right? So I was very, very straight up with her and she said, listen, I want to put my foot down. I want to put my, my, my legs on the acceleration and I want to move, right? Within, I believe, a couple of days, Right. She she started applying herself to the blitz sessions that we've been doing and pretty much just listening to other people acquire customers has helped her mindset have a paradigm shift. Right. So massive welcome to what you've been able to accomplish. Right. Can't wait to see you go ETT 250. Now, ladies and gents, that is simply the end of my training segments. Uh, you know, I hope you guys have taken a lot of value from what you've been able to um, 
here today is very important. Now, look, here's what's so important. Please don't just listen to this. This isn't me. <laughs> I'm not just throwing information. We are sharing this so you can take action. All right. So I think that's the most important thing. So out of everything you, you've heard, remember, what's the first question I ask you? Who wants to make money? Everybody's putting dollar signs. Everybody's doing this in the camera. Right. So I want you guys to take action from what you've heard. There is enough information to say, hey, listen, I can go out this week. Me personally, I can do 10 customers. I can do 20 customers. Just imagine for you have organizations. Everyone in your organization just did 10 customers this week. Just imagine what your business could be. Imagine if everyone decided to have a paradigm shift, did 20 customers this week. Imagine what your business could be, right? So raise your standards, raise your value, raise your commitments, and let's get to work, all right? On that note, ladies and gents, I want to hand this call over to my, my very, very good friend, my brother, my business partner, all right? Um, you guys already know him, TC5000. He's, he's somebody that, you know, I keep watching his work ethic. His work ethic really just inspires me, right? We have conversations at 2 a.m. in the morning. We have conversations at 4 a.m. in the morning, strategizing, hey, John, you got to do this. You got to step up. You got to... Listen, I'm also a student to the game, right? Okay, as much as the information I might be able to gather and deliver to you guys, I'm a student to the game. You never get to a place where you're too familiar. And the reason why I say that, because he's going to come on this call right now and share the next segment, which is the compensation plan, right? Okay, so you want to understand, you've processed customers, but how do you get paid? That's the most important information, all right? So I want to call upon Stephen Navarro. Stephen, the stage is yours. Go for it, bro. 